Good day, learners! You have learned in the previous lesson that weathering is an important process that helps shape the Earth's surface. The breakings of rocks result in the formation of soil in different landforms. This is also the reason why we have amazing rock formations. Also, weathering can either be mechanical or chemical. Mechanical weathering is a physical wearing away of rocks without any change in their chemical nature. While chemical weathering involves change in the composition of rocks that allows them to break down into pieces. This time, you will learn about soil erosion and its effect on living things and the environment. When rocks are broken down into different pieces, it does not stay in one place. Some rock fragments become part of the soil. Others are transferred from one place to another, which is called erosion. Materials that are transported due to erosion are called sediments. Erosion of rock fragments contributes to the soil formation as well as formation of landforms. Soil erosion does not only shape Earth's landforms. It also affects the ecosystem, especially if it happens unexpectedly. It can destroy roads and bridges. The roads become wrecked. Traveling will be difficult and long. Repair of roads will cost the government much money. Erosion affects the land. It can change its shape and size. Human activities such as deforestation, illegal logging, and quarrying also increase the effects of soil erosion. In the environment, effects of soil erosion on landforms. Although soil erosion happens every time, the appearance and structure of a landform do not change overnight. It would take hundreds of years to change. For instance, Sand dunes would form after plenty of soil accumulate and form a huge mass after existing large mass of rocks and soil. This process happens over and over again. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. It can also transform a mountain to hill or plateau. Effects of soil erosion on living things Plants get most of its nutrients from the topsoil. The topsoil contains the organic materials produced by dead plants and animals. However, this topsoil is usually carried away by wind and water. Once the topsoil is gone, the nutrients from plants will be carried away as well. Too much soil erosion makes the soil unable to hold or absorb water. This makes the soil dry, coarse, and eventually unfit for vegetation. In addition, sediments that are washed away by water can clog irrigation system and can further inhibit the plant's water supply. The effect of erosion on plants would mean less food production. This can affect animals and humans since plants are the main source of food and nutrients. A 
Another negative effect of erosion is the prevalence of mine tailings which are mineral waste or leftovers after the mining process. Erosion brought by water can wash mine tailings to nearby bodies of water and pollute them. Polluted seas and rivers can affect aquatic plants and animals, as well as the potable water supply of animals and humans. So to recap, here are the effects of soil erosion. Soil erosion can destroy large masses of land. It can also transform a mountain to hill or plateau. The effect of erosion on plants would mean less food production. This can affect animals and humans since plants are their main source of food and nutrients. That ends our lesson for today. I hope you learned something from the discussion. Kita kids in the next lessons. Until next time, goodbye.